Hello, my lovely Stitchy Lind here with a Whip Wednesday. And this week, I'm showing you my almost finished Larch Peds, designed by the amazing Laura Nelkin of Nelkin Designs. And I will bring them both out here. Um... This is my Muscleboro hat, too. Muscleboro's in there. I've gotten a few more rows or rounds done on that, but not many. Not enough to show. Anyway, um, so this is a very interesting construction. We have short rows, and we have um, a turned hem for the cuff, which is very cool. It makes it cushy. It's going to be so comfy. This is actually the second sock because, and you'll see the difference in the two. I had a heck of a time with the first one. I just, I don't know. I don't know why. I just did. It happens. And that's fine. And in fact, on the first sock, it took me three starts before I had success. But that's fine. That's how we learn also. And that's what made the second sock much easier to knit so here's the cup and these are top down and then we did the heel flap which i got that done heel flap and heel turn which heel turn is my favorite part of a sock one of my favorites it's just so magical and i love i love the shape of this heel i think it's going to fit really nicely then i just finished the gussets i did the gussets yesterday that's this area in here and now I am halfway finished with a foot on this sock so I don't have a whole lot more to go I'll show you this way maybe you can see it a little bit better so when you're measuring for your sock length you want to measure from the back of the heel right here right here ah come on quit being a bugger you want to measure from the furthest point on the heel all the way up and you want to stop where well two two anywhere from one and a half to two inches short of your total foot length because your toe is going to take up that space depending on what toe and the construction of the toe this one is we stopped two inches per pattern before so yeah i'm excited this is the first one, and you can see I'm nothing but transparent here. I'm always transparent. Um, I don't pretend to be perfect. This hem cuff is so wonky, it's not even funny. And um, I just did not feel like taking it back out because that would be a royal pain. And as you can see here, there's way, there's too many rows in the front compared to what they're supposed to be in the back. But it is what it is there for me. I don't really care. I learned, I mean, I don't really know what happened. But other than obviously I messed up on the, um, the short rows section because this, this this front part is taller than what it should be. The back part's okay, but I don't know. I don't know because when I went, it's, it's, see, it's not supposed to be like that. Whatever. But I did get the gussets done on that yesterday, which is, like I said, that is... around huh all right well I managed to lose my stitch my beginning around stitch marker huh oh well I know where the beginning of the round is it's at the halfway point of the sole so there's the gussets on this one this is a little gusset section. And on that side. I really like the way this yarn 
this red yarn is working up. I don't remember. I think this was a gifted to me yarn, if I remember right. I don't believe I purchased this. Yes, it it is a gifted to me. And I've made two other pairs of socks with it. The California sock. And... Um, another sock there's another sock I made with it too I don't remember but this will be the third sock out of this out of the the hank of yarn so anyway, that's what I have for you on the projects in whip whip projects today um I am going to be picking up an embroidery project when I finish these I'm going to be finishing that embroidery project up because I want to get it to the recipient long overdue. Um, knitting wise though, or crochet. So here's the question. Should I, and really this should go on yarn talk, but these are going to be finished before my Friday yarn talks episode. So I'm going to do it here. Next knit or next project. Should it be, a crochet project or should I knit something an, another something let me know in the comments I appreciate you I love you Jesus loves you even more than I do and I love you oodles and noodles see you soon Mwah.